Next on Fox 17 News. Career centers like this one could get busier in the coming days. We'll tell you why and give you the one piece of advice they need to hear. First on Fox, more than 18,000 Tennesseans are going to bed tonight worried about their future. That's how many will be losing unemployment benefits tomorrow. Fox 17 Sky Arnold joins us live from the Career Center and Metro Center with more. Sky. Well, John, this is where some of the folks who've been looking for jobs, this is where they're going to be receiving help finding those jobs. And they've been coming here for a good deal of time. These, these folks that are losing benefits, they've been receiving them for around more than 26 weeks, and now the money is going away. Finding a job. You have to network with, with people. Has become a job for Beth Sargent. It's really tough out, th out there. Lately, she hasn't had much luck, though. And that's where unemployment benefits have been essential. It pays for housing, food, car. Pays for e everything. But like 18 and a half thousand other Tennesseans, Sargent is about to lose her benefits. Tennessee's unemployment program only covers the first 26 weeks, and anything after that has been covered by a federal program that expires Saturday. I'm scared because I'm not sure how I'm going to going to pay my bills. Sergeant's only hope is that a divided Congress decides to renew the program. We've been through this before. State Labor spokesperson Jeff Henschel says it's a possibility people like Sergeant need to be planning for just in case. We don't know where this is going to go. Congress could reauthorize these benefits and if people continue to certify they will be able to start their benefits up seamlessly. The obvious hurdle is money. Keeping unemployment checks coming will cost billions. And some say it shouldn't be borrowed. The real context here is, can we afford it? And we can afford it if we cut somewhere else. And we, we somebody has to be the adult in the room. Back in this room, the job of finding a job has new pressure for people who may only have one paycheck left. I'm, I'm scared. I'm really concerned. Now, if nothing changes, uh, the group that we're talking about will receive their last paycheck, uh, their last check, I should say, uh, next week. And again, it's all the more reason why the state is saying this group of people, again, who've all been receiving benefits for more than 26 weeks, it's imperative that they keep certifying their unemployment just in case Congress does make some changes. We're live in Nashville, Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News. Benefits are ending tomorrow for the 18,500 Tennesseans who are receiving unemployment benefits from the federal government. Tonight, Fox 17 Sky Arnold joins us live from the Career Center in Metro Center with the story. Sky. Well, John, we're just talking about folks who have been unemployed for a very long time. People who've been coming to places like this Career Center behind me for a while. Now, under the current system, the state's program ends up paying for unemployment benefits for folks who've been unemployed for the first 26 weeks. Anything after that really is covered by a federal program that, again, is scheduled to end tomorrow. That means next week's check will be the last one for people like Beth Sargent. But there is some hope for them. State Labor Department spokesperson Jeff Henschel says there's still a possibility Congress could step in and reinstate the program. We've seen these, ex these uh, benefits expire in the past and then they've been reinstated. We've seen them retroactively come back and, and say, okay, even though you haven't had benefits for two or three weeks, we're going to reinstate these benefits and pay those weeks that you've missed. Now, for that reason, the state is encouraging people losing unemployment to continue their weekly certify process. Doing that will allow the state to act quickly and forward over any money if Congress does, in fact, take action and reinstate the program. One more time, just want to reiterate here that what we're talking about is not the state's version of unemployment. Basically, anyone who has been unemployed for a short period of time, less than 26 weeks, they're still going to be receiving their checks. Live in Nashville, Sky on Fox 17 News.